Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Carly Keenan. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. We've made it to the middle of the week, and we've been seeing a lot of different conditions this week. We started uh, pretty warm, saw a lot of rain, melted all the snow, and then we've slowly transitioned into very windy conditions and icy roads. This morning when I was coming into the station in Bend, uh, the roads were pretty icy, so definitely something to be aware of. You can't see that here. The parkway's too dark right now. But as far as other road conditions, Prineville looking a little wet there. Madras, Things are looking dry. We're not seeing them in the winter weather advisory, but I really want to focus Lava Butte, Lapine Sisters, all in that winter weather advisory. So seeing snow on the roads. I mean, you can see the snow falling here at Lava Butte, and then you can see it on the ground in Sisters and Lapine. So definitely be aware of that if that's where you live or if you're traveling through that today on your morning commute, going to school, wherever today takes you. Our satellite and radar imagery has shown a different picture than what we saw yesterday. Yesterday, we had a lot of action happening. Still a lot of action happening here in the high desert, just different action, I should say. Winds coming straight out of the west, blowing over in this nice and easy flow. We made it out of that wind advisory, so we're only going to see gusts up to about 9 miles per hour today. Nothing crazy. We are seeing some cloud coverage to start the day, going to last with us for the majority of the day. And then seeing a little bit of precipitation. We are expecting to get snow before 10 a.m. this morning so keep that in mind uh, as we're heading into the day and then we'll get a little bit of a break and our temperatures warm up our forecast highs today ranging really in those low 30s to low 40s our peak temperature of the day coming out of Terrebonne and Redmond at 43 degrees we're going to drop though as we get of course into the later hours of this evening dropping below freezing allowing for that snow to fall tonight you can see Redmond at 31 Ben 30 sister Sun River Lapine our coolest temperatures at 26 degrees. Of course, they are here in this winter weather advisory. Of course, over in the pass, up at Bachelor in the Cascades, getting a lot of snowfall. We'll get to that in a bit. Tomorrow's highs is going to be uh, a cooler day, similar to what we're seeing today, maybe a tish warmer. Redmond, 45 degrees. Ben coming in at 44. We are going to see a tish of sunshine, but again, with that snow and rainfall, I'll show you in a bit what we're looking at as far as the snow sticking on the ground because our temperatures are going to be up there in the 40s. Our future track for the rest of today, you can see some scattered showers turning into scattered snowstorms. Get a break around this evening, but once we transition into Thursday, we see all of this color return, seeing, of course, the Cascades getting the most of the snow uh, in the past, getting a lot of snow, and I'll show you that here, just how much we are expected to get as we head into Friday. So here's the rest of today. Bachelor getting upwards of 20 inches by Friday. Bend and north of Bend, only seen about one inch. Sun River Lapine can get up to six inches of snow. Now, our seven day forecast, you can see. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to be 45 degrees with that rain. Friday, a little bit more sunshine, peaking at 47 degrees. And then we drop more, staying consistent with our temperatures in those low 40s heading into the weekend. That rain is sticking around, same with those clouds, gonna see mostly cloudy skies, a little bit of sunshine uh, peeking through throughout the weekend. That's been Check of the Weather.